na ano, mami na niligaw sa akin. Tapos binigyan niya ako ng malaking, malaking, malaking bukwi ng flowers. Ano ba kayo Ano nangyari sa'yo? Ano ba kinain mo? Sure, ano nangyari? Itain mo lang nga yan. Eh kasi nga, di ba nga nag-cave sa barbecue? Tapos, bumigyan ako doon, malapit sa atin. Hala, baka madumi na kain mo. Siyempre, di ko naman alam, di ba? Kanina pa nga ako eh. Sabi mo, malapit ka na dyan. So, ang gapo eh. Pero pacheck up nila. Ano po ibig sabihin nun? Sabihin nun, iha, may bulati ka sa akin mo. Nematodes, commonly known as roundworms, are the most numerous multicellular animals on Earth, with over 16,000 described species. There can be many thousands of individual nematodes and even a single handful of garden soil, and they keep coming. Nematodes have effectively adjusted to almost every biological community, from marine salt water to crisp water to soils, and from the polar locales to the tropics and the most noteworthy to the least of rises. So, nematodes are, una, they're vermiform. Pangalawa, they're mostly pseudocilumate. They have a cephalic and caudal end that we commonly call as ulo, dulo, diba? And uh, they're gonorchostic. So, there's a male and female, usually. Uh, how you look into the buccal capsule, meaning the part wherein the mouth aspect in the cephalic side will most of the time dictate the species. And most often than not, nematodes have sexual dimorphic characters, meaning the male and female sometimes look evidently different. Of the many species of the nematodes, more than half are parasitic and attack and feed on living plants as well as causes diseases in animals, including us humans. Parasitic nematodes include one of the most common helminthic human infections worldwide, the intestinal roundworm Ascaris lumbricoides. Ascaris lumbricoides is one of the leading causative agents of intestinal parasitism worldwide. It's mainly, uh, it's one of the main uh, neglected tropical disease, especially in tropical countries. Um, I would think that there's still a lot to be studied about Ascaris in itself. And certain studies have shown that um, medicine, uh, that these parasites are slowly uh, getting ahead of the medicine that we already have prompting for us to learn more and develop new drugs that would be resistant to the adaptations of these parasites. At the same time, we have to look into best practices to make sure that 
best medical practices, making sure that the medicines that we have now, they don't lose their potential because of uh, irresponsible medicine use. Scariosis is a disease caused by the parasitic roundworm Ascaris lumbricoides. Infection occurs by eating food or drink contaminated with Ascaris eggs from feces. The eggs hatch in the intestines, burrow through the gut wall, and migrate to the lungs via the blood. There, they break into the alveoli and pass up the trachea, where they are cuffed up and swallowed. The larvae then passes through the stomach for the second time into the intestine, where they become adult worms. The highest prevalence of these worms is in tropical and subtropical regions and areas with inadequate sanitation. It is estimated that more than 1.4 billion people are infected with Ascaris lumbricoides, representing 25% of the world population. It is most common in children 2 to 10 years old, and prevalence decreases over the age of 15 years. Infections tend to cluster in families, and worm burden correlates with the number of people living in a home. Ascaris uh, is, is uh, mainly asymptomatic. You only get uh, symptoms uh, once you have complications like obstruction, intestinal obstruction, uh, and uh, biliary obstruction, which are the most common uh, complications with uh, uh, severe ascariasis. Yes. By giving uh, anti-helminthics, uh, there are uh, oral medications which you can give, uh, you, you, you take only for three to five days. But uh, if there are complications like intestinal obstruction, uh, it becomes uh, surgical. Um, if uh, that occurs, you have to operate on the patient and uh, uh, literally uh, take off the, the Ascaris because uh, with severe Ascaris infestation, it becomes a bolus. No? You have a big ball of uh, Ascaris which uh, obstructs the, the intestine. Medications that are used to kill roundworms are called oh. Ascaricides. Those recommended by the World Health Organization for Ascariasis are Albendazole, Mibendazole, Levamisole, and Pyrantel Pamoate. Other effective agents include ribendimidine and itazoxanide. Pyrantel pamoate may induce intestinal obstruction and a heavy worm load. Albendazole is contraindicated during pregnancy and children under two years of age. Thiabendazole may cause migration of the worm into the esophagus, so it is usually combined with piperazine. Piperazine is a flaccid paralyzing agent that blocks the response of Ascaris muscle to acetylcholine, which immobilizes the worm. It prevents migration when treatment is accomplished with weak drugs such as thiabendazole. If used by itself, it causes the worm to be passed out in the feces and may be used when worms have caused blockage of the intestine or the biliary duct. Corticosteroids can treat some of the symptoms, such as inflammation. Uh, more important thing uh, than the treatment is the prevention. No? So, uh, the best way is uh, hand washing, strict hand washing. So, uh, every, uh, anyone who prepares food uh, should uh, wash their hands uh, thoroughly. Uh, do not uh, eat uh, raw. Uh, food and un uncooked food and uh, if you're going to eat uh, raw vegetables you should uh, wash them properly uh, so that's the most important thing hand washing